Where do I even begin with this? This is incredible. I'm making the Elder Wand. If you didn't know already, or if you haven't seen my other videos, I posted a TikTok of me making Snape's wand and it blew up. And at the moment, it, it's at 2 million views and I got like 60,000 followers from it. And this is just absolutely incredible and mind blowing. And I don't even know where to begin to start saying thank you to everybody. This is incredible. I am making the Elder Wand and I have a walnut dowel. I'll be cutting it down to size. Oh, I'm excited to make this. Now, like always, I've got my reference picture printed out here to follow along and make it as close as I can to the original design from the movie. So the first step is Oh, wait a minute, I just realized. It's already a circle! Now the first step is to get them cut down to size, mounted on the lathe. He's checked up onto the lathe. <laughs> <laughs> the lines are all drawn on there. Now all I gotta do is start shaping it. Let's see here, you can start to see some of the shape of the wand coming together. Awesome, the shape's coming out great. Now, let me raise this up a teeny bit. I've got the general shape done, but it is a little bit thicker than I need it to be, and I can't get into some of the crevices by the knots to shape them properly because I'm afraid that it's gonna snap on the lathe, and I don't want that. So, I am going to take 80 grit sandpaper and finish shaping it with the sandpaper. Shaping and sanding is done. Check this out. <clears throat> I got my shape done. Focus on the proper thing. Thank you. Okay, this is day one. It's gonna take a while. Let's see, what time is it? It is 8.30, so I start at four, so that's four and a half hours so far, and I have the shape of the Elder Wand done, and it's the proper length for the most part. So I'm taking it off a lathe now, I'm gonna cut the tip and the end off, and on day two, I'm gonna dremel the crap out of it, and that's probably gonna take longer, sure. Let me cut it off. And we're back with day two. Elder Wand. Now as you can see, I've left it a little bit thick. Because if you look closely, there are grooves all the way down it. It's not smooth, it's kind of crooked in most spots. So I'm gonna take this to the spindle sander. I'm gonna sand them down so that it has those little grooves. And then after that, I'm gonna dremel the absolute crap out of it and put all the little tiny holes all over the knots in the wood. Check this out. Here we go. Okay, it is no longer a circle. You can see how it almost looks like a branch now and not a perfect circle cylinder. So I have all those grooves cut into there to make it look more natural rather than hand made. And now for almost the last step, I gotta put all the little tiny holes all over the place, which is gonna take forever. But this is gonna be the most satisfying part, so I'm excited for this. Let's get it. Now it is time to paint the little runes. I guess they're kind of like runes. What are these little witchy wizard symbols are? Time to paint those on. Thank you. 
So this wand was actually made for a giveaway. It was my first giveaway and I said that when I hit 10,000 followers on TikTok I would do a giveaway but then I hit 60k overnight so this is what they did for a giveaway was the Elder Wand. Well that being said I was a little distracted uh, with the giveaway and I forgot to film an outro to show off the details and everything with the finished wand but I do have it from the TikTok video itself so I'll show you that here. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for being so loving and so supportive. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment or something. I don't know, you know the YouTube stuff.